everybody, the hiking chef here. So I have a special treat for you guys today. Today I'm hiking to the top of Mount Baldy with a good buddy of mine, Jay. What's up guys? Jay is the owner of Exivus and we did a podcast recently together and today... Amazing feedback by the way, <laughs> amazing feedback. Yeah, it was really good, had a lot of fun. So today it's my turn and we're going up to Mount Baldy. Once at the top of Mount Baldy, we're gonna be cooking portobello double cheeseburgers with venison meat. Today's hike is nine miles long with about 4,100 feet elevation. And we're gonna be taking the trail via the notch. We're gonna take the trail up to the notch and then cut across the devil's backbone, which is probably my favorite trail uh, so far I've been on in all of California. Beautiful views, a little spicy, I'm super excited for today, so let's get started. Say the day is ending, let's watch the sun go down. The Baldy Bowl right there. We're gonna be at the top of that in about four or five hours. <laughs> How you feeling right now, Jay? Good, hell yeah. And all I keep thinking is double double. Double yeah. double. Yeah. Each one of those venison patties is 30 grams of protein. Oh yeah. So I'm stoked on it. I love venison. This is I, I the never had it. Okay, it's good. This is the San Antonio Falls. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, guys, it's about 8 a.m. We're doing pretty good. Probably another two miles till we get to the notch. So far, beautiful views. Jay's having a blast. It's a lot better than he expected, he said. Tell him the secret you just told me though. Yeah, so I just had the urge to look up on Google what's California's deadliest hike and Mount Baldy is number one. So that's uh, where we're at. And uh, it's like Jay's first real hike <laughs> is the deadliest hike yeah, in California. Hike. So here I'm we like, are. I'm like goggins right now. Yeah. <laughs> we're feeling good. Like, yeah, we got high energy. Jay's also been up all night, right? Yeah, no sleep. Night. The last, uh, so, I say 18 hours. Yeah, that's that's wild right there. Not and then doing Baldy, <laughs> yeah. It's uh, and and uh, that that is Goggins bagel. material. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Almost to the notch and uh, Jay and I are feeling really good. Super beautiful morning. It is only morning, huh? Yeah. It's only 9.45, it feels later though. Yeah, I bet for you. Oh, uh, true. Yeah. <laughs> really like... <laughs> or technically, I guess it restarted. Yeah, it's beautiful out here, you guys. Clouds are moving in though. I think we'll be all right. They might just pass us. That's the devil's backbone, I believe, right behind me on that ridge. And we're gonna be going across that pretty soon. Uh, so stay tuned, you guys. about 8,000 feet, I want to say. And uh, we're doing a lot better than I even thought I was going to be doing because I haven't been up here in a long time and it's a hard hike, the deadliest hike in California. And right now we're at the notch. Right 
here. And then Baldy's like way over here off the map. Alright guys, we're about four and a half miles in, doing super solid. I'm super stoked on Jay right now, he's doing great. I'm really stoked. And right now, uh, we are approaching the Devil's Backbone, so check it out guys. That's all there is to it. Jay, how do you feel about the Devil's Backbone? Oh man, um, it wasn't too Not bad. Not too bad, huh? It wasn't too bad, but you definitely climbed to that seed in me. So thank you for that. <laughs> Good. I had to overcome <laughs> the thoughts you trickled in my mind and the Devil's Backbone itself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was beautiful and worth it. Yeah. We got a little bit more to go here, and then uh, we got a little bit of like a stretch till the Mount San Antonio. So let's uh, keep going here. saddle right before uh, Mount San Antonio or Mount Baldy. A video camera converts the picture into a television signal. Base of 
Mount Baldy. And we just kind of have to do that final push to the top. The most dangerous thing you can do in your career, the most dangerous thing you can do in life is play it safe. Yeah, all right, now. Super stoked. It was Jay's uh, first time pretty much hiking and he did Mount Baldy. He's back over here. It's freezing up here. It's got to be in the high 30s right now. Uh, it's a little too windy to cook up here. So we're going to go down to the ski hut and whip up some venison portobello mushroom burgers. I'm super hungry. I cannot wait to, to eat those burgers right now. But yeah, we're up here at Baldy Boys. It's really 10,066 feet. Don't have really much of a view. That's okay, it's still beautiful up here. Wow. Deadliest peak in California, you guys. So we have venison burger patties, brioche buns, spring mix, fresh minced garlic, mayo, provolone cheese, salt and pepper, extra virgin olive oil, and last but not least, portobello mushrooms. Jay is starving right now and so am I, so let's get started. We are gonna start off by toasting these brioche buns. We're gonna put some olive oil down just a little bit. We wanna save some for those mushrooms. Throw these buns down. I like my buns nice and toasty. I'm gonna toast these up a little bit more. Woo. This fire is hot today. Looks good. We're gonna pull this guy off. We're gonna do the next one. A little bit of olive oil. Same thing. Good, you guys. A little crispy, it's okay. We're gonna add these venison. This is really hot, so we're gonna be super careful. Just two venison patties here. The animals start to come, so. Let's <laughs> <laughs> be ready to. Ready to run? Ready to run. My burgers. Fuck, I'd punch a bear in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Dead ass on this. I was gonna punch a bear in the face. It's hot. Oh. 
now that we got our grass-fed venison patties down, we're gonna season these guys up. We got salt, pepper. On the other side. All right, while these venison burger patties are cooking, we're gonna add some mayo to the brioche buns. You want mayo on yours, right? Okay. okay. I like to do a double side. How oh, cool is this, guys? Look at this. Oh, crazy. Starving. This looks amazing. It smells amazing. I cannot. Wait. We're out here in the wild starving right now. <laughs> Seriously. Dang. I mean, if we went in through a drive through line, it would have been the same amount of time, you know? I'm, I'm okay waiting. This looks amazing. Yeah, no, this is going to be good. Oh. I promise you. We got a double double. Oh, I'm ready. How long does that thing stay charged for? Uh, it as it goes, it charges itself. Really? Yeah, and okay. it will also charge your. If you have a phone charger, you can charge your phone. Uh, right now. Uh, yeah, you plug it in, and it will charge your phone as it's going. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's almost like a little off the grid thing too, you know? Yeah, it has a goat. It's super cool. The fact that it charges it. So how does it charge itself? Like, like thermal? Yeah, I think something from the, the, the heat uh -huh. keeps it charged. So now we're gonna season this side. These are almost done. We're gonna add some cheese to each one of these. We got our brioche buns with the lettuce all hooked up. These look great, you guys. All right. Ooh. Damn. I don't even have the mushrooms on here yet. You want mushrooms on yours? Uh, I'll take whatever. Yeah, dude. You'll want it. Yeah, then yes. Dang, guys. We're gonna add some mushrooms to this hot mess. And these are portobello mushrooms. Mushrooms are looking really good. You can even add a little bit of red wine sauce if you wanted to to this. But Fancy. we're just gonna add a little bit of this fresh minced garlic. I'll add a little bit of salt and pepper. We're gonna add these mushrooms here. These portobello mushrooms, baby portobellos, right on top. All right, you guys, this looks fire. Push these down here. There you have it, my venison double cheeseburgers with baby portobello mushrooms. Jay and I are starving today. We're super excited to eat these guys. And uh, 
Yeah, we're just gonna head back the way we came. We got about two miles left to get back to the car. Thanks for watching everybody. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button. And if you wanna see more hiking and cooking outdoors, please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys next time. So that's what keeps you on your toes. Could be.